It's been five days and I cannot stop thinking about it's it. It's been five days and you cannot stop talking about it. Like I'm telling you, it was one of those moments. Me and Carol Vesey. I mean, Carol Vesey. Imagine being back in high school looking at one of those crystal balls and seeing that one day Ed Stevens would be kissing Carol Vesey. What would you have said? Faulty ball. Exactly. Wow. Um, is there an occasion? I finished a draft of the book. I thought a celebration was in order. <laughs> that's great. That's, that's really great. Congratulations. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. To the book. by this whole sleeping like a baby thing. It just took me an hour to get Sarah to go to sleep. And ask us what Ed's talking about. Kissing Carol Vesey. Oh, yes, he is. You both realized that after the kiss, she invited me back into her house. I don't think we're going to go in there and play parties. You say play parties here? No, just regular play parties. You know quotes. You're saying you would have played parties? I'm saying we would have had sex. Gotcha. Carol, I was thinking, after uh, all the ups and downs and ins and outs we've had over the years, there are only two things that I'm sure of. What? Number one, I am a self-centered, self-absorbed horse's ass and probably always will be. Oh. Actually, I knew that one before I met you. <laughs> oh. Okay, and, and number two? I am in love with you. Deep. Total. Helpless. I love you too. She wants me. She wants me. She wants me. One part razzle, one part dazzle. Kaboom! Carol Vesey wants Ed Stevens. Life is so... funny. Funny, 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 funny. Eddie, you're not thinking clearly here. I mean, Liz broke up with you three weeks ago. You said yourself no one can get over a seven-year marriage in three weeks. And see, I do not want to think about Liz. And do you know why? Because Liz slept with a mailman. And when my wife sleeps with a mailman, I try not to think about it. This is just a little policy of mine. Buddy, you know, I think maybe you're using this whole Carol Vesey thing to avoid facing your pain. And All right, that's it for this episode of Dr. Moore. I got patients to see tomorrow. Night, Ed. I guess I should probably go to my room, right? I'm done talking here because I did not order a window with palm trees on it. Look, I gotta go. All my stuff just got here. No, I'm saying I didn't order palm trees. I. Thanks, Kenny. There's more comments. I didn't order palm trees because it's not appropriate for a law office. That's why. I am well aware it's a law office inside a bowling alley. It's a law office nonetheless, my friend. That's right. That's right. And I did not order palm trees. I didn't know. I didn't order palm trees. What's this about a sign? Oh. Yeah. So, uh, what I'm thinking is uh, Stucky Ball. Big blue letters down by the pins, right across the lanes. 1500 bucks. What? What? Oh, no, Dr. Burton, please. Come on, I'm a local. How about, how about 300 bucks? Well, let's see. How about 1500 bucks? Yeah, that's crazy. Not you. No. Uh, that can't stay there. And yeah, that's all gotta go. Take a look at this catalog, man. They got everything we need for the snack bar. Hey, what do you think of these bad boys? Phil, those are salt and pepper shakers, okay? Salt and pepper shakers, by definition, cannot be bad boys. Yeah, Mike, look, we need to go into town exactly 11.30 to hey, get coffee. Do you like the Colonial or the Empress? Because I'm really torn. Because I need to run into Carol Vesey accidentally. OG 54073, bingo, the Imperial. Ed, 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 the Imperial. Yeah. I think it's Phil, you, you, you know what? You know what? You go ahead, you pick the salt and pepper shakers, okay? Pick the napkin holders, pick the ketchup dispensers, knock yourself out, my man, okay? Yeah, Mike, 11.30, don't be late. <laughs> 
Man, you continue to impress me. You're not afraid to delegate. So you want that Stucky Bowl sign or what? Not for 1500 bucks. I bet Shirley do it for free. Shirley? She's very talented. You know that big Stuckyville Motors Pelican sign? Yeah. She designed a Pelican. She... Our Shirley? She... Shirley! Sh no, uh, Shirley, no. I, I, sh I just want to ask you... Uh, timid. You know that Stuckyville Motors Pelican sign? She designed a Pelican. Okay, Kenny? You just kind of... said that. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Burton. What's here? What's here? Come up here. Come up here. Hi. I had a little break from the office and I just wanted to see how my little munchkin was doing. <gasps> Hello, Sarah. It's mommy. Oh, she's doing just great. Aren't you? Oh. I was just worried that she might be um, having a hard time adjusting to me going back to work, you know, so. No, not at all. She's a happy, happy baby. Yes, yes you are. Good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Stucky ball? Yeah, I'm thinking big blue letters down by the pins. I love the Stuckyville Motor Pelican sign. You know the owner, Dick Knight? Sold me my first car. He's got a prosthetic chin. Is that right? I'll do it. Oh. Okay, great. Welcome to the wonderful world of possibility. Down, Sean! Oh, my. Oh, look at that gold <laughs> coin in your ear. God. Stuckyville Stan, I don't believe this. The one and only. And I need a lawyer. I don't believe this. When I was a kid, my friends and I thought you were a god. You performed at my 6th, 7th, 8th, and 10th birthday party. June 20th. October 26th. Oh. <laughs> well, I... Oh. oh, sorry about that. I'm still getting set up here. Goodbye, Mr. Spatula! <laughs> You're still amazing. You're amazing. You remember that trick with the dancing turkey? Oh, I yeah. still stay up nights trying to figure out how you did that. Yeah. First time I did that was on a telethon with uh, Chuck Connors. The rifleman? Yeah. That guy got more tail than Eddie Fisher. Is that right? Whoa! I am... Oh, it sounds romantic. Well, it was romantic. I mean, Nick always knows just what to say. He's a writer, for God's sakes. <laughs> I mean, it's like every time I start to drift away emotionally, he senses it, and he reels me back in, and then things get lousy again, and I drift, and then he reels me back in, and I'm going to sue for emotional whiplash. Uh, I know a good lawyer. Okay, don't start with that again. Hey, come on, Carol, you kiss the man. I mean, I know you. You don't kiss a guy for no reason. I explained this to you, Molly. It was a moment. A moment. Yes, I was feeling vulnerable about Nick. He was feeling vulnerable about his wife. We looked into each other's eyes, and it just, it, it happened. And then you invited him into your house. Well, yeah, it was part of the same moment. It was a long moment. Yes, it was an extended moment. Okay, and, and what about when you kissed him two weeks ago and he bought a bowling alley? Actually, that was also a moment. Whoa. Is that your card? I didn't pick a card. Oh, Sarah, honey, it's okay. Mommy's coming. things I can claim. Unfair competition, violation of trade secrets, theft of intellectual property, but to be honest with you, it's going to be pretty hard for us to win. I've been doing this act for 53 years. I'll see what I can do. Nah, look at you lawyering it up, huh? Oh, you're late. Oh, my God, Ed, do you know who this is? <laughs> Stuck 
Rockyville Stead. Oh my, and this is a great pleasure, sir. Hey, this is great what to me. Hey, you got in your ear? That's ridiculous. A spatula, Ed Stuckyville Stead just pulled a spatula out of my ear. <laughs> <laughs> This is the same time I ran into her getting coffee last week. You know what? There's a word for this. It's called stalking. I think we might have missed it. We'll give it a few more minutes. Hey, ten bucks if you give me out loud enough to make that old guy turn around. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, I know I'm good. Mike, for the love of God, are you good too? Sure, I'm good. Well, what a relief. We're all good. <laughs> yeah, listen, I'm enlisting friends to come over to the bowling alley tomorrow night to uh, hang out and um, help and paint the place. That's it. Yeah, it might be fun if you guys want to come over. <laughs> You're also invited to the grand reopening of Stucky Bowl on Friday. Hey, babe. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Um, Nick, Mike Burton. Hi. And, um, Ed Stevens, I, I think you mm. know Nick Stanton. Hi, Mr. St Nick. How are you doing? Good. Um, Ed just moved back into town. I believe he used to be one of your high school students. Yeah, I had you for sophomore English. Yeah, me too. I was, uh, I was in your class. You were the coolest teacher, man. I'm sorry, I don't remember you guys. I just remember the pretty girls. <laughs> <laughs> um, we really should get going. Yes, I think we should. Wait, you're that bowling alley lawyer, right? People have been talking about <clears throat> that. Actually, I'm a lawyer and about a bowling alley. Two separate things. This is fascinating. I'm thinking about writing about a lawyer. What makes a lawyer decide to buy a bowling alley? Uh, well, I... needed a change. Pretty big change. Yeah. Yeah. It, to be honest with you, there is one other pretty big factor involved in my decision. Okay, you know, I've got to get back to my class now, honey. Hold on a sec, babe. This is research. So what was that big factor that made a lawyer buy a bowling alley? You really want to know? I really do. Yeah. Well, this might sound strange, but since you asked, I will go ahead and tell you. My wife slept with a mailman. So you... Bought a bowling alley. I'm a complicated man. Shirley. I finished the S. Oh, okay. Great. Do you want me to come see it? Okay. Okay. Listen, I got sales reps from seven companies following me around like I'm a virgin at a rodeo. So if you want to get in the game, you got to get your guy down here tomorrow with some samples, and we'll see if we can do some business. Because cowboys love having sex with virgins. Hey, you know what? Maybe you're not the guy. I want you to experience the S all at once. Okay. Surely. This is great. This is better than great. It's perfect. It's perfect. Are you hitting on me? It what? No. Of course not. Because this is how it started with Dick Knight. So, Mike, I'm thinking about Carol Vesey today, and I came up with a theory on women. Hit me, Ed. You know what women are? What's that? Fancy men. Women are just fancy men, you know what I mean? You start with a man, add a bunch of interesting bells and whistles, you got a woman. 
That's exactly what they teach you in medical school. Hey, Nets. Hey. Hey. You know, I was just thinking, we are so lucky to have that Kendra's a nanny. She is great. She is sweet, and she's bright, and she loves Sarah. I mean, so many people have such nightmare stories about their nannies, and we were so, so lucky. Honey, what's the matter with Kendra? Mike, you're not listening to me. I'm saying that she's great. I think we're really lucky to have her. I do. Nancy, you and I have known each other since we were 12. We've been dating since we were 17. Do I need to continue? Okay. I think that Sarah likes Nanny more than she likes me. Well, hell, honey, I like the Nanny more than I like you. She's kind of hot. Mike, I'm serious. You know, I'm off at work all day, and, and meanwhile, Kendra's here, and she's just smiling, and she's laughing, and she's singing her brains out. I mean, honey, if I were Sarah, I'd like the nanny more than me, too. It's really upsetting. Come here. <laughs> Sarah does not like Kendra more than you. That baby adores you. Because you're the world's best mom. You're the world's best wife. Uh, hmm. This is so sweet. Okay, I'm gonna go eat a cookie, <laughs> you know, so you can do it. Do what, have sex? Yep. It's not a leap year, is it, honey? Oh, that was funny for you to say. <laughs> Milky! Milky! Milky News! Right? Right. Wrong. Yeah, you. <laughs> I love that one. Now I'll ruin it forever. See, the milk stays in. That's what that masked moron is doing to me. It's okay. I'm going to try and make him stop by claiming that your tricks are what's called your intellectual property. Will that work? Well, I don't know. See, the problem is you don't actually own your tricks. No magician owns their tricks. In the old days, we would have settled things like this with a baseball bat and a sock full of quarters. You're pouring salt on my floor. Yeah, check out the flow on this son of a bitch. It's excellent, Slaughter. Hey, there's a girl out there for you. A, gr a girl? Who? I didn't catch her name. Molly! Yeah, hey. and up with the small talk, loser. I'm here to paint. Brought your own roller, I see. Very <laughs> impressive. And I got you a little bowling alley warming gift. Oh, Molly. Little tiny bowling ball. Yeah, I think it's for the bowling alley executive. Talk uh, about your niche market. I love it. Thank you, Mom. More free help has just arrived. Only here for the beer. Well, then, let's paint. Hey. Hi, um, can we talk? Sure. Let's go outside. Ed, we need some rules. Rules? Yes, rules. Okay. I have a boyfriend. 
that's not a rule. That's a declarative sentence. Okay, I am serious. That little stunt that you pulled today outside oh, the coffee well, shop. No, no, not... no, 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 no. Your boyfriend is trying to reduce my life to some kind of research project. Oh, and you were the one who decided not to come into my house. So. Notice we're starting to jump around here a little bit. I've been going out with Nick Stanton for seven years. Still jumping. What, what, what do you expect me to May do? May I tell you what I think? Please. Okay. Girl goes out with boy long time. Girl not totally happy with boy. Mm -hmm. Girl tries to convince herself she's happy with boy. New boy comes. Girl just... You know what? It's kind of hard to keep talking like this. What I'm trying to say, Carol, is that I no, think No, I think I understand what you're trying to say. Ever since you swaggered into town and turned my whole life upside down, I can't possibly continue going out with Nick Stanton because of your incredible charms. Is that true? Oh, my God. No. No. Oh. Oh. Carol, that was me on your doorstep the other day. I was there. That wasn't just a kiss. You know it. I know it. That was a moment. You bet it was. Oh my God, it's Stucky Bill Stan. Stucky Bill Stan, I had such a huge crush on you when I was little. You didn't have a crush on me, young lady. You had a crush on the wonderful world of possibility. <laughs> About court tomorrow, what shall I wear? You're Stuckyville Stan, dressed like Stuckyville Stan. Oh, you know, I used to write about you non-stop in my diary, including the time you missed my ninth birthday and left me brokenhearted. Ah. Yeah, that's weird. You know, you missed my ninth birthday, too. Was that uh, in 78? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Six months at Oakdale. Fell a little too in love with my back medication. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Catch the movie! I got you. <laughs> he did. Number 452, EJB. Sir, you're going to have to take off that mask. I cannot, Your Honor. Why not? For fear of revealing my true identity. I've got your name right here on the docket, Howard Pistol. Now take off the mask. Thank you. You're welcome, Your Honor. Now, before we begin, I'd like to say what a thrill it is to have Stuckerville stand here in my courtroom. It's magical to be here, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Pissel, before you started doing Stuckerville stand revealed, did you work as a regular magician at kids' parties? Yes, sir, I did. And were you successful? I did all right. All right. Really, interesting. Because I subpoenaed your office records, and I found out you'd only worked twice in six months. Uh, well, yeah, but at one point I had mono. Mr. Pissel, when you go to bed at night, do you have a feeling way down deep inside that stealing Stuckyville Stan's tricks and revealing how they're done is wrong? Objection! <laughs> Whether it's right or wrong is not relevant. Not relevant. Not relevant. Whether it's right or wrong is not relevant. Why they put up this big building with all the oak paneling? I'll allow it. Thank you. Pistol? No, sir. I do not think there's anything wrong with what I'm doing. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. I see. Then why in the world do you wear a mask? It's stylish. Thank you. Uh, you work here? I'm looking for a Mr. Chartremont. Uh, I'm the owner, actually, but I don't know anyone by that name. I'm Monsieur Chartremont. I thought your last name was Stubbs. It is, but the French thing gives me a business edge. It keeps him confused. Right this way. Okay. Ed. Hi. <sighs> Shirley. We're out of paint. Well, that's okay. We'll just get some more. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I have a very strange staff.
Sarah loves you, honey. Congratulations, Bert. In a world of survival of the fittest, you have survived. I'm buying from you, and I am ready to talk the P-word. Price. My name's not Bert. I've written a number down on this piece of paper. I want you to look at that number. I don't want you to say anything about the number. I don't want you to react to the number. I just want you to digest the number. Seventeen. What does that even mean? Shh. Say nothing. Don't react. Hi, you kids! Welcome to the wonderful world of possibility. <laughs> now, follow my hand as I reach into the hat. What is this I see? Oh, that is a bunny rabbit. I can't believe <laughs> my eyes. Oh. That hat is a false bottle. You suck. We know how you do it. Oh, you take oh, oh, Okay, Ed, Ed, you cannot let this go on anymore. I mean, Stuckyville stands act as an institution in this town. I know. We're bombing, Stanley. Wait, maybe that's it. What? Well, Stucky will stand doing the same act for 53 years. That's worth a shot. That's enough. Stucky will stand. Before Mr. Pistol started revealing your tricks, had your act ever gone over so poorly? Never. It was a nightmare. A Norwegian kid hit me in the head with a pop-tart. How long have you owned all of this? Objection. Assuming facts, not in evidence. The court has already determined that Stuckyville Stan owns no copyright on any of his tricks. That's true, Mr. Stevens. You'll have to rephrase the question so that it doesn't assume that Stuckyville Stan owns his tricks. I'm terribly sorry if I was unclear. I wasn't asking him about owning his tricks. No magician owns their tricks. What I asked him was how long he'd owned all of this meaning the cape, the music, the phrase, welcome to the world of possibility, I'm asking him how long he's owned his act. I object to that assumption, too. It has never been determined that he owns the copyrights on his act, either. Your Honor, Stuckyville Stan has been doing the same act for 53 years. He created it. He is synonymous with his act. Copyright or no copyright, I contend that he owns it, and furthermore, that it qualifies as his intellectual property. Objection again. How do I know that Stuckyville Stan has been performing the same act for the past 53 years? Mr. Stevens is making bold, unproven statements. He is not asking questions. Your Honor, I promise, if he ever stops talking, I'll ask questions. You stop talking, you ask questions. Thank you, Your Honor. Let's begin with the one person who should know. Stuckyville Stan, is the act that we have just seen on today's videotape more or less the same act that you created and have been doing for the last 53 years? It sure is. Thank you. Now, 53 years is a long time ago, isn't it? It is. Believe me, I remember. Are you a football fan? Yes, I am. Yeah, well, who won the Super Bowl last year? Hmm? Uh, I always have trouble with that one, too. Nothing further at this time, Your Honor. Hey, Carol, how you doing? Hello, Ed. Are we fighting? I'm not sure we might be. That's a bummer. Listen, can I ask you a question? Do you still have that diary? What diary? Well, the other night you said you wrote about Stuckyville Stan in a diary, a childhood diary. You still have that? Yeah, sure, somewhere. Why? You think I could borrow it? I think it might help. Well, if it'll help, of course. Excellent. Listen, I'll see you tonight, 8 o'clock at the bowling alley. To prepare. To prepare what? Your testimony. I'm putting you on the stand. What? to the uh, law offices of Stevens, Stevens, and Stevens. I'm Stevens. Oh. So this is it, the, uh, the nerve center. Hey, yeah, pardon the uh, mess. Lovely parting gifts for my marriage. 
Oh, the uh, spatula. Uh, it, it's funny, I was going through a bunch of my stuff the other day, you know, like old pictures of me and Liz, wedding gifts, that kind of stuff. Nothing got to me, nothing. And then uh, I came upon this spatula and... Uh, <laughs> it's funny, of all things, a spatula. You know, you believe that? Is it, um... Is it special? Well, no, well... Um... When Liz and I were married, we moved into this tiny, tiny apartment. And uh, the first morning that we woke up, you know, sleeping on the floor, boxes everywhere. And, and I went to the went to the corner store and I bought this spatula. And I came home and I made her scrambled eggs. Anyway, the uh, the diary. <clears throat> I have it right here. May I see it? Well, no. You see, Ed, because it's... It's my diary. Yeah, from when you were, what, eight? You will note that I have marked the passages pertaining to Stuckyville Stan, and you may see those. Okay. And only those. Okay. Going in. Wow. Quite a lot of detail for such a little kid. Watch this. CV loves BV. You turn the page. You cannot turn the page. Wait, Can't no, turn I, the I, page. I just, I just want to know who BV is. BV just so happens to have been the object of a typical schoolgirl crush, as he was for many girls my age. Ah, ha, ha. So, BV is somebody famous? I am not going to tell you, so you may as well give it up. Oh, come on. No. Please? No. Please? No. Come on. No. I promise I won't laugh. No. Please? No. <laughs> and this kind of thing will drive me crazy. Well, that won't be a very long drive for you. Boris Becker. Boris Becker. Who's a good girl? Who's a good little girl? You love mommy, don't you, Sarah? Of course you do. Of course you do. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. Da 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 da. Outside your door, bags are packed. Time to say goodbye. So kiss me and, and smile for me. her. Tell, Tell me that you wait for me. Hold me like you'll never. Oh, Sarah, let you me must go. hold on to me. Wonderful, Mrs. Burton. Kendra, you're fired. Miss Vesey, did my client ever perform for you? Yes, he did. He performed at my sixth, seventh, eighth, and tenth birthday parties. We all loved Stuckyville Stan. And was his act the same each year? Oh, yes. We all knew it by heart. He always started by saying, Welcome to the world of possibility. <laughs> and then he ended with the dancing turkey trick. Your Honor, I would like to submit into evidence Miss Vesey's 1979 childhood diary, which describes each of Stuckyville Stan's performances in great detail. Objection. A child's diary is totally unreliable. Overruled. Let me see it. If you look at the marked portions, you'll see that the act he performed, including the types of tricks and the order the tricks were performed in, was the same each year. Moreover, the act described in Miss Vesey's diary is the same as the one seen in yesterday's videotape. Thank you, Miss Vesey. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, no. One more thing. Miss Vesey, <clears throat> in your diary, the initials BV appear. Could you tell the court what these initials stand for? Miss Vesey? Objection. You can't object, young lady. That's his job. Uh. Miss Vesey? 
I'm sorry, Miss Bessie. Cannot hear you. Oh. Ben Vereen. Ben. You're kidding me. Ben Vereen. <laughs> You're kidding me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're such a jerk. Ben Vereen. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like palm trees? No, nope. really. It's got nothing to do with that. I uh, once banged a stewardess in Maui. Is that right? How many frequent fly miles do you get for that? Good one, Chief. Come on back. Come on back. And stop. Phil, what did you do? We do not need this many salt and pepper shakers. I bought in bulk, man. I got a hell of a price. Phil, this is ridiculous. Phil, listen to me. A hundred sets in a stack that size, and we do not need that many salt and... Oh, my God. Phil, how many sets of salt and pepper shakes did you buy? 5,000. Phil, we do not need that many sets of salt and pepper shakes. Oh, no, but we do, man. People can be taking these things left and right as keepsakes. Hey, you don't think the guys who are in Caesar's Palace know that when people check out their scarfing up an ashtray or two, they're budgeted for that? Phil. Listen to me. I'm going to court now. And when I come back, there better not be an unreasonable amount of salt and pepper shakers, okay? That's it. Straight back. Bring her up. Yep. Come on back. Phil. Napkin holders. That's it right there. A dancing turkey? I object to all of this. Now, what possible point can Mr. Stevens hope to prove by wasting the court's time with a, with a magic show? Your Honor... The first time I saw Stuckyville Stan do the dancing turkey trick, I was six. And now, after all these years, I finally figured out how he does it. Would you like to know how? I'll tell you how. He does it by taking us into the world of possibility, where, as it turns out, turkeys can dance. Mr. Pistolzak seeks to destroy that world, and I'm here to protect it because without the world of possibility, what do we have left? You know what? I concede that Stuckyville Stan takes us into this world of possibilities. It's irrelevant. Now, can we move on? Bring on the dancing turkey. When I do this trick, I will need an assistant. Ed, do you mind? Yes. You have to wear this cape. Okay. You have to look the part. Tie it up there. Why, you are. Welcome to the wonderful world of possibility. In your world, a turkey is a turkey. But in the world of possibilities, a turkey can rise up and dance. Rise up and dance. 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 Dance, turkey, dance. Rise up and dance. Dance! Rise up and dance! Dance, turkey! Dance! Dance for Stan! Dance! Dance for Stan! In two seconds, raise up your hand. Two, one, dance! <laughs> Open the doors! No speaking English! I don't like your act, Mr. Pistol. It spoils the fun. But that doesn't really matter here. Mr. Stevens, your quest to protect the world of possibilities is quite moving. But it has nothing to do with the law. So let's get to the law. This case comes down to one question. Can Stuckyville Stan own his act without owning the tricks in his act? Well, based on the evidence that shows that he's been performing the same act for over 50 years, I believe the answer is yes. Therefore, the court orders Mr. Pistol to discontinue all operations pertaining to Stuckyville Stan revealed immediately. <laughs> Jaboom!
Oh. <laughs> Here you go, my man. Have a good game. Here's your sports car. Take it easy. All right. Back in business. I'm here to protect the world of possibility. I must protect it. I beseech you. My name is Ed Stevens, and I love dancing turkey. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny, what do you keep doing this cracking everybody up? All right. Marvelous. And you know, darling, it's much better to look good than to feel good. Marvelous. That's good. You know, Molly, things never work out the way you plan them. Oh, I wouldn't know. I live a charmed life. <laughs> I honestly don't even know what I'm upset about. Well, I think you're upset because things never work out the way you plan them. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> you know what? Let's try this one on for size. When you came back to Stuckyville for Carol Vesey, you didn't plan that she'd be in love with your old English teacher. And after you were amazing in court, you didn't plan that Carol Vesey would still be in love with your old English teacher. And when you bought that spatula for your wife, you didn't plan that seven years later you'd be sitting here using it to hit tiny bowling balls. But that's what we humans do, Ed, you know? We, we plan it all out and then Life just does whatever it wants. Yeah. It makes you wonder why we bother to plan it out in the first place. <laughs> I think we do it to help us navigate the world of possibility. Either that or it's a really effective way to kill time. I'm done talking here because I did not order a window with palm trees on it. Look, I gotta go. All my stuff just got here. No, I'm saying I didn't order palm trees. I thanks, Kenny. There's more comments. I didn't order palm trees because it's not appropriate for a law office. That's why. I am well aware it's a law office inside a bowling alley. It's a law office nonetheless, my friend. That's right. That's right. And I did not order palm trees. I didn't know. I didn't order palm trees. What's this about a sign? Oh. Yeah. So, uh, what I'm thinking is uh, Stucky Ball. Big blue letters down by the pins, right across the lanes. 1500 bucks. What? What? Oh, no, Dr. Burton, please. Come on, I'm a local. How about, how about 300 bucks? Well, let's see. How about 1500 bucks? Yeah, that's crazy. Not you. No. Uh, that can't stay there. And yeah, that's all gotta go. Take a look at this catalog, man. They got everything we need for the snack bar. Hey, what do you think of these bad boys? Phil, 
Oh, so salt and pepper shakers. Okay, salt and pepper shakers, by definition, cannot be bad boys. Yeah, Mike, look, we need to go into town exactly 11.30 to get hey, coffee. Do you like the Colonial or the Empress? Because I'm really torn. Because I need to run into Carol Vesey accidentally. OG 54073, bingo, the Imperial, Ed, 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 the Imperial. Yeah. I think it's Phil, you, you know what, you know what? You go ahead, you pick the salt and pepper shakers, okay? Put the napkin holders, pick the ketchup dispensers, knock yourself out, my man, okay? Yeah, Mike, 11.30, don't be late. Man, you continue to impress me. You're not afraid to delegate. So you want that Stucky Bowl sign or what? Not for 1500 bucks. I bet Shirley do it for free. Shirley? She's very talented. You know that big Stuckyville Motors Pelican sign? Yeah. She designed a Pelican. She... Are Shirley? She... Shirley! No, uh, Shirley, no. I, I, I just want to ask you... Uh, timid. You know that Stuckyville Motors Pelican sign? She designed the pelican. Okay, Kenny, you just kind of said that. Hi, Hi Mrs. Burton. Hi. I had a little break from the office, and I just wanted to see how my little munchkin was doing. Hello, Sarah. He's a mommy. Oh, she's doing just great. Aren't you? Oh, I was just worried that she might be um, having a hard time adjusting to... It's been five days and I cannot stop thinking about it's it. It's been five days and you cannot stop talking about it. Like I'm telling you, it was one of those moments. Me and Carol Vesey. And Carol Vesey! Imagine being back in high school looking at one of those crystal balls and seeing that one day Ed Stevens would be kissing Carol Vesey. What would you have said? Faulty ball. Exactly. Wow. Um... Is there an occasion? I finished a draft of the book. I thought a celebration was in order. <laughs> that's great. That's that's really great. Congratulations. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. To the book. I don't know what they mean by this whole sleeping like a baby thing. It just took me an hour to get Sarah to go to sleep. And ask guess what Ed's talking about. Kissing Carol Vesey. Oh, yes, he is. You both realize that after the kiss, he invited me back into her house. I don't think we're going to go in there and play parcheesi. You say play parcheesi or... No, just regular play parcheesi, no quotes. You're saying you would have played parcheesi? I'm saying we would have had sex. Gotcha. Carol, I was thinking, after uh, all the ups and downs and ins and outs we've had over the years, there are only two things that I'm sure of. What? Number one, I am a self-centered, self-absorbed horse's ass and probably always will be. Ah. Oh. Actually, I knew that one before I met you. <laughs> oh. Okay, and, and number two? I am in love with you. Deep. Total. Helpless. I love you too. She wants me. She wants me. She wants me. One part razzle, one part dazzle. Kaboom! Carol Vesey wants Ed Stevens. Life is so... funny. Funny. Funny, 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 funny. Eddie, you're not thinking clearly here. I mean, Liz broke up with you three weeks ago. You said yourself no one can get over a seven-year marriage in three weeks. And see, I do not want to think about Liz. And do you know why? Because Liz slept with a mailman. And when my wife sleeps with a mailman, I try not to think about it. This is just a little policy of mine. Buddy, you know, I think maybe you're using this whole Carol Vesey thing to avoid facing your pain. And All right, that's it for this episode of Dr. Moore. I get patience to see you tomorrow. Night, Ed. I guess I should probably go to my room, right? Don't cry. Is she okay? Oh, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. All my bags are packed and ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye.
There's a few different things I can claim. Unfair competition, violation of trade secrets, theft of intellectual property, but to be honest with you, it's going to be pretty hard for us to win. I've been doing this act for 53 years. I'll see what I can do. Nah, look at you lawyering it up, huh? Brother, you're late. Oh, my God, Ed, do you know who this is? <laughs> <laughs> Stuckyville Stead, oh, my God, this is a great pleasure, sir. Hey, this is great to me. Hey, what have you got in your ear? That's ridiculous. <laughs> a spatula, Ed, Stuckyville Stead just pulled a spatula out of my ear. <laughs> <laughs> This is the same time I ran into her getting coffee last week. You know what? There's a word for this. It's called stalking. I think we might have missed it. We'll give it a few more minutes. Hey, ten bucks if you give me out loud enough to make that old guy turn around. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, I know I'm good. Mike, for the love of God, are you good too? Sure, I'm good. Well, what a relief. We're all good. <laughs> yeah, listen, I'm enlisting friends to come over to the bowling alley tomorrow night to uh, hang out and um, help them paint the place. That too. Yeah, it might be fun if you guys want to come over. <laughs> You're also invited to the grand reopening of Stucky Bowl on Friday. Hey, babe. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Um, Nick, Mike Burton. Hi. And, um, Ed Stevens, I, I think you mm. know Nick Stanton. Hi, Mr. S Nick. How are you doing? Good. Um, Ed just moved back into town. I believe he used to be one of your high school students. Yeah, I had you for sophomore English. Yeah, me too. I was, uh, I was in your class. You were the coolest teacher, man. I'm sorry, I don't remember you guys. I just remember the pretty girls. <laughs> <laughs> Me going back to work, you know, so... Nope, not at all. She's a happy, happy baby. Yes, yes you are. Good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. 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 Stucky ball? Yeah, I'm thinking big blue letters down by the pins. I love the Stuckyville Motor Pelican sign. You know the owner, Dick Knight? Sold me my first car. He's got a prosthetic chin. Is that right? I'll do it. Oh. Okay, great. Yajabu! Welcome to the wonderful world of possibility. Down, son! Oh, my. Oh, look at that gold <laughs> coin in your oh ear. God, Stuckyville Stan, I don't believe it. The one and only. And I need a lawyer. I don't believe this. When I was a kid, my friends and I thought you were a god. You performed at my 6th, 7th, 8th, and 10th birthday party. June 20th. October 26th. Oh. <laughs> well, I... Oh. oh. Sorry about that. I'm still getting set up here. Goodbye! Mr. Spatula! <laughs> You're still amazing. You're amazing. You remember that trick with the dancing turkey? Oh, I yeah. still stay up nights trying to figure out how you did that. Yeah. First time I did that was on a telethon with uh, Chuck Connors. The rifleman. Yeah. That guy got more tail than Eddie Fisher. Is that right? Whoa! Oh, it sounds romantic. Well, it was romantic. I mean, Nick always knows just what to say. He's a writer, for God's sakes. I mean, it's like every time I start to drift away emotionally, he senses it, and he reels me back in. And then things get lousy again, and I drift, and then he reels me back in, and I'm going to sue for emotional whiplash. Uh, I know a good lawyer. Okay, don't start with Eddie Grant. Come on, Carol, you kissed the man. 
I mean, I know you. You don't kiss a guy for no reason. I explained this to you, Molly. It was a moment. A moment. Yes, I was feeling vulnerable about Nick. He was feeling vulnerable about his wife. We looked into each other's eyes, and it just, it, it happened. And then you invited him into your house. Well, yeah, it was part of the same moment. Well, it's a long moment. Yes, it was an extended moment. Okay, and, and what about when you kissed him two weeks ago and he bought a bowling alley? Actually, that was also a moment. Is that your card? I didn't pick a card. Oh, Sarah, honey, it's okay. Mommy's coming. Oh, honey. <laughs> sweetie, are you so no, 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 it's okay. Oh, sweetie, come on. He's a big girl. Oh, it's funny, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, we really should get going. Yes, I think we should. Wait, you're that bowling alley lawyer, right? People have been talking about that. <clears throat> Actually, I'm a lawyer and about a bowling alley. Two separate things. This is fascinating. I'm thinking about writing about a lawyer. What makes a lawyer decide to buy a bowling alley? Uh, well, I... needed a change. Pretty big change. Yeah. Yeah. It, to be honest with you, there is one other pretty big factor involved in my decision. Okay, you know, I've got to get back to my class now, honey. Hold on a sec, babe. This is research. So what was that big factor that made a lawyer buy a bowling alley? You really want to know? I really do, yeah. Well, this might sound strange, but since you asked, I will go ahead and tell you. My wife slept with a mailman. So you bought a bowling alley? I'm a complicated man. Finish the S. Oh, okay. Great. Do you want me to come see it? Okay. Okay. Listen, I got sales reps from seven companies following me around like I'm a virgin at a rodeo. So if you want to get in the game, you got to get your guy down here tomorrow with some samples, and we'll see if we can do some business. Because cowboys love having sex with virgins. Hey, you know what? Maybe you're not the guy. I want you to experience the S all at once. Okay. Shirley, this is great. This is better than great. It's perfect. It's perfect. Are you hitting on me? It what? No, of course not. Because this is how it started with Dick Knight. So, Mike, I'm thinking about Carol Vesey today, and I came up with a theory on women. Hit me, Ed. You know what women are? What's that? Fancy men. Women are just fancy men. You know what I mean? You start with a man, add a bunch of interesting bells and whistles, you got a woman. That's exactly what they teach you in medical school. Hey, Nets. Hey. Hey. You know, I was just thinking, we are so lucky to have that Kendra as a nanny. She is great. She is sweet, and she's bright, and she loves Sarah. I mean, so many people have such nightmare stories about their 